Thank you. I'm Joanne Pino. I'm a faculty member at the School of Computer Science. Um, and I am uh, one of the co-directors, faculty members, in the Reasoning and Learning Laboratory. So if you go into McCall Knowledge Engineering on the first floor, you can see some of these grad students and some of the robots that are going around the building. Um, my research deals primarily with trying to figure out how to make intelligent systems behave as though they have intelligence, in fact. And so we use a number of tools drawn mostly from computational techniques and mathematics to solve these types of problems. Um, in general, most of these artificial intelligence systems can be captured with a very, very simple diagram where we have an intelligent agent who is interacting with an environment or whatever it can perceive of its environment through a set of observations. And the main question we're trying to ask is how do we get this agent to take intelligent decisions based both on the observations but also a set of other things which may include its abilities, goal preferences, prior knowledge, and so on. So the people who do research in this group usually have expertise in many of these tools and try to apply these techniques to this particular problem. Um, to guide a lot of this research, we have a fundamental paradigm. Paradigm basically means a mathematical conceptual models that help us explain the types of questions we're trying to answer. And this is the reinforcement learning paradigm. For those of you who've studied psychology, you may have heard of some of the earlier results in reinforcement learning from Pavlov and some of his colleagues. We're leveraging the same kind of insight, but trying to apply this to our robots. So we want to build robots that learn how to behave intelligently in their environment using some trial and error effects, in particular through the use of a reward signal here. Now the basic paradigm has been around for about 40 years and used quite a bit in robotics and artificial intelligence, but things get complicated when you have some of these complicating factors that come in where the environment is very complex in particular. Um, to make sure that we test out these algorithms in the field, we have a number of more applied projects, one of which is the development of the Smart Wheeler platform. Smart Wheeler is a robotic wheelchair. We've taken a commercially available electric wheelchair and we've turned it in, into a robot by adding a number of sensors. You see down here laser range finders that permit us to observe the distance, the nearest obstacle. There's full computer system in here. There's a tactile and speech-based interface. Um, over the last two years, we've been validating this particular wheelchair in a controlled environment called the wheelchair skill test. I'm happy to report the wheelchair has done quite well using the intelligent behavior. We had about a dozen people with disabilities come sit in our wheelchair, try out this wheelchair skill test. Um, and now that we're satisfied with this, we're moving on to the next stage, which is taking it out into the real world. So over the next year or two, the wheelchair is going to be tested in the uh, Place Alex Simeon as part of the big mall rehab initiative. So watch out for the wheelchair if you're out shopping. Thank you.